Halo is the boneheaded chef sitting down to take a taste test. First of all, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now, um, I forgot to mention that I watched a couple of different recipes and the one I was going to use calls, called for um, a sauce to pour on the meat. It was like a wine reduction. And, um, and then you add cream to it and make a nice sauce. Well, I forgot to buy the wine and I forgot to buy the cream. And I was out of milk, but you want heavy cream, I guess. But um, you're supposed to cook it in the juices of the meat. I didn't do that, so it's going to be a little bit drier than I had planned. But anyway, let's give it a try here. First of all, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have a tripod anymore because it dies and breaks on you. Okay, let me get my legs out of the way here. Maybe this pillow will help. I don't want to mess up the pretty pillow. Okay, so here we go. So here's my filet mignon. Well done. I was really going for medium well, but yeah, I'm not very good at that yet. And there's the asparagus with bacon. And here's the bacon I had wrapped around my meat. And, um... I got some steak sauce. If you have a good steak, you don't want steak sauce, but I, that's why I put it in the little thingamabobber because I might not want to use it. So, and as long with the, and yeah, so I got brown and I green, green, and I don't have any yellow or orange on my plate for, you know, to make it more colorful, but yeah, I was trying to get stuff done and then he had to go. Um, pick up that pig, so I felt rushed, so that's where I stopped. But anywho, I also have a fresh pot of coffee made. Mm. Okay, so let's move on to our taste test, shall we? Lord Jesus, we thank you for this food. We thank you for your many blessings. Pray that you bless this food to my body and strengthen me. And help me be a witness for you and be with the woman out in Silver Lake who lost her husband today in a medical emergency. That you would comfort her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My other prayers were rushed, so I wanted to do a halfway decent one this time. But anyway, let me get my hand out of the way. This, when it's in selfie mode, I don't know where to put my hand. Okay, let's move the knife. I don't think I'll need it. All right. First, I'm going to take some asparagus because, yeah, I want some. There it is. I'm even out of cheese. I didn't put any cheese on it. But when you got bacon and butter, you don't need cheese. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. When you want to cook your vegetables, you want to have just a little crunch in there. It depends on how much crunch you want. You do it the way you want. It's better. That's tastier. Mushy vegetables I do not like. Plus, it's better for you that you don't cook out all the vitamins. Okay. Let's check out a hunk of meat. Filet mignon from a farm fresh cow. I don't need a knife. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, I'm telling you. That's where it's at. No growth. Bleh. Rewind. No growth hormones. No weird fillers. Just cow. Yeah. Cow from a local farm. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, that is good. I know I got it cooked more farther, you know, more done than I planned. But it doesn't matter. It's good. Tender. Not tough at all. I took a big bite. So I have a big mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right on, brothers and sisters. That's where it's at. Right here.
right there. I don't need that. I don't want it. Let's just get that out of there. Steak sauce, schmake sauce. Look at that. Yeah. Thanks for dining with me. Catch you on the flip side. I only eat two meals a day, so when supper comes along, I'm starving, so I cram it. I only eat two meals a day on purpose, as I always forget to eat lunch. I get busy. When I do remember I have April or somebody drop down mini tacos for me at the restaurant, then I do get my lunch, but I get so busy I forget. Anyway, filet mignon, asparagus, and coffee. That's what's for supper. Peace out, y'all.